Right, well, uh, good morning and uh, all the best to everybody. Right, well, it's now December the 27th, day after Boxing Day. Uh, weather's okay, so I decided to uh, go and have a couple of hours down the woods, try and chill out and uh, gather some thoughts. And uh, a couple of hours ago, it was really misty. It's cleared up a little bit, but I expect by the time I arrive down to the woods that it'll still be quite misty. So, uh, yeah, I'll bring you back later. See you in a bit. And uh, here we are, making our way down to the uh, familiar subway that, uh, that provides a cut through to the woodlands. And as you can see, as we've gone uh, lower down, uh, a lot more mist about. Actually, not a bad day, really. I'm quite... Uh, quite enjoying this weather, it's dry, a uh, little bit misty, plenty of bird song about and uh, just approaching the old subway now and uh, a bit undecided today as to uh, which woods I'm going to go to, probably not that far, I might just go straight through the subway and uh, go down near the uh, down near the river we'll see so we'll uh, catch up with you in a bit and uh, here we are in the woods decided to not go too far today uh, this one's very very close to the subway and uh, I've got my work cut out here a little bit because it's uh, it's north facing it's very very damp in terms of getting a fire going but uh, hopefully we'll manage and, uh, it's a really impressive uh, bit of woodland this really I've been coming down here for about 10 years on and off usually have a couple of walks here in winter down this particular bit Right, let's go and look for somewhere uh, a little bit less damp than where I am at the moment and uh, get a little, see if we can get a little fire going for a brew and uh, it's funny actually, um, I came to these woods roughly the same time last year and uh, it was about minus five and uh, today it's not cold in the slightest, I'm actually sweating a bit and I've, uh, I've probably overdressed but yeah, it's quite warm today. And uh, the orange hue that you can just about make out across across the river is uh, Japanese knotweed. Right, so uh, let's carry on. See if we can find a decent spot. Right, well, uh, I managed to find a spot that was uh, a little less damp than some of the other the other places down here and uh, just about managed to get it sparked into existence with the ferro rod it took many goes so uh, it is looking like a bruise on the card uh, this wood that's uh, stacked up there is just there to dry at the moment so yeah all's good still lots of mist around to be expected as we're down near uh, the flowing river and uh, this particular wood there seems to cop for uh, an awful lot of storm damage I don't know if you can just make out over there there's about a dozen mature fallen trees um, and I think I think basically this part where I am is like a bit of a wind avenue where the, uh, the wind sort of builds up, builds up speed, hits the trees and uh, over they go. Still a lovely place though. And uh, it's great to be out in the middle of this very dark month. Let's just see how the fire's going. 
yeah that's going well that I should be having a brew in the next couple of minutes so uh, come back soon and uh, yeah the fire's doing okay and um, just banged a billy can on we've got a bit of um, porridge mix in there for brekkie so kettle's just about boiling time for a brew and breakfast is served there's my brew um, porridge is cooked there I've just pulled it away from uh, the main flames so it can keep warm while I, uh, while I have a brew and a fag and uh, it's a lovely little fire this just right for cooking as I say it took quite a while getting it going in these damp woods but you've just got to persevere with these things and uh, here's a quick shot of uh, up the hill <laughs> where you can probably uh, make out the sound of traffic in the distance right so time for brekkie and uh, come back to you shortly and uh, just want to talk a little bit about this time of year winter we're in the dark of winter and uh, it's quite a difficult time for a lot of people People have got in debt trying to buy the presents that the kids want for Christmas. Some people haven't had enough money at all to buy presents for the kids. People are using food banks over Christmas. Uh, people, people lose loved ones over the winter. Uh, and it's quite a dark time really. And... The way I always deal with this, or try to deal with it, is uh, through the seasons. And if we look at all the, uh, the death and decay here, where these plants have died back for the winter. And the way the trees have lost the leaves. Uh, in some ways mirrors our own losses, whatever they may be. And uh, one of the great things about seasons is uh, cyclical, which means after this long dark winter and all the young shoots start coming up, it'll then be spring, a new time and a new era. And it's easy to say, relating uh, the seasons to death and rebirth and uh, but this is particularly hard when we try and relate it to those who we've lost and in the same way that the seasons bring uh, bring new life when we lose somebody they live by the love in our hearts our minds our fond memories and uh, as long as we've got this, our loved ones are still with us. So, if anybody is suffering this time of the year, uh, if you can, try and get yourself out. Try and get into nature. It won't solve all the problems of the world, but it might give you a bit of a perspective, something to reflect on. And uh, I'd just like to say to everybody who's suffering at the moment with anything whatsoever that things will get better. things will change and uh, I'm always around if anyone wants to talk about any of these issues not particularly easy things to talk about at the best of times but I've I've suffered and struggled over the decades and I'm in my 50s now got a bit of life experience behind me So 
so yeah I just thought I'd say those few words for anybody who's struggling and I hope everything gets better for you and I hope your lot improves and I hope that with the coming seasons as they roll into each other that the new shoots are the new shoots that you need in your life and uh, a bit late to wish everybody uh, a happy Christmas with it being the day after Boxing Day but I wish you all well whoever you are and uh, hope that things get better in the new year for you and uh, nothing remains static just as this river here will flow 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, 12 months of the year and as long as the river flows it will move seeds up and down, the seeds will deposit themselves on the banks of the river, the seeds will grow So once again, thanks for watching this video and uh, hope that there's going to be a few more on the way in the late winter and again, I wish you all well and don't struggle on your own.